Okay, liters to megaliters, so small to large. Small to large, we divide. But this time we have to divide by 1,000 and divide by 1,000 again. So it's going to be 210 divided by 1,000 and divide by 1,000 again, which we'll get something like this as a decimal. So make sure you become very careful when you're converting into decimals. Now, if I put the decimal number here, I have to go back one, two, three, four places backwards. So it's going to be 2.1 times 10 to the power of negative 4. Okay, that's the answer. D, 3.5 litres to megalitres, again, same conversion. So we're going to divide by 1,000 and divide by 1,000 again, which will become something like this, a lot of zeros, which is annoying, isn't it? So, again, I'm going to put my decimal there, and we're going to go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 places. So it's going to be 10 to the power of negative 6, isn't it? There we go. Okay, 3.5 times 10 to the power of negative 6 megalitres. Question five, again the same kind of question, but this time we're going to go from kilolitres to megalitres. So, kilolitres to megalitres is small to large, so we must divide. So 16 divided by 1000, which is 0 0.016. And in scientific notation, if I put the decimal place in front of one, we have to go back two places, so 10 to the power of negative two. Okay, again, same conversion, we'll divide by 1,000, which will make this a lot of zeros, which is annoying. So, we'll put the decimal there, and we'll have to go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 places. So, 4.3 times 10 to the power of negative 5 megalitres. Okay, 21, uh, 210,000 millilitres to megalitres. Now, don't get confused with the little m and the large m. The little m is millilitres and the large m is the megalitres, okay? So be careful. Now, again, millilitres to megalitres, we're going from the very smallest to the very largest. So we must divide, don't we? Small to large is always divide. But we must divide by 10 first, then 100, then 1,000, and then 1,000 again. So it's going to be lots and lots of zeros. Be extra careful with the zeros, okay? Because you're going to get confused. So, as I said, it's going to look like that. We divide by a thousand, so I'm just going to write thousand for this part. It's thousand in total, isn't it? To divide by ten, divide by hundred is a thousand, and then divide by a thousand, and then divide by a thousand again. So we have three lots of thousands that we're dividing by. Okay, so what is that going to look like? Have a look. You try it for me, guys, and then kind of check your answer with me and see if you get the right amount of zeros. So, it's going to be like this. That's what I have. Because guys, we have, if, I have, if I'm dividing by a thousand three times, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine zeros that I'm dividing by. So I've got to go back nine places. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so there's one, two, three zeros before the 21 and then make sure you have the point. So that's why. So you can use a little bit of like underlining stuff like I do. So again, in scientific notation, I want my decimal to be after the two. So I have to go back one, two, three, four places to go back to the original spot. So it's gonna be 2.1 times 10 to the power of negative four. All right. So this question is easy, same as the other questions. You have to take much more consideration in the zeros because you'll get lost. Okay, millilitres to megalitres again, we do the same thing. Divide by thousand three times. So, I'm trying to use a bit of underlining and see how many zeros we have to put in extra. My one will look like, well, we have dividing by nine zeros, so it's going to look like this. Again, a lot of zeros. Again, we want to put into scientific notation, so put the zero after the three and then count it. It should be six places. I won't count everything for you but you guys can try that and check the answer with me. So it's gonna be 3.57 times 10 to the power of negative six. See, centiliters to megaliters, centiliters to megaliters, small to large, we must divide. But we must divide by 100, 1,000, and then 1,000 again, like that. 100, 1,000, 1,000, okay? So we're gonna go back this time by eight decimal places, just like this. So it's gonna have lots of zeros like that. So I put the decimal there, we have to go back one, two, three, four, five, six places. 
so it's going to return to the power of negative 6. And D, again do the same thing because it's the same conversion. Divide by 100, 1000 and then 1000 again, which will look like that. Okay? I don't know, I'm just going to go through this quickly because I think the conversion part you get the idea, the zero parts. So, put the decimal there and you go back three places to go back to the decimal, original decimal point. So it's 10 to the power of a negative 3.